Oh, happy birthday. We supposed to be celebrating our birthdays, bro. First and foremost, I want you to understand, you, us, we are Israelites. We, not, we are not black. Black is the color of your hoodie. That's not us. Our nationality out of the 18 nations are the children of Israel. That's right. Every single body on this earth comes of some lineage. The Chinese come from Moab. Right. The white man comes from Edom. Right. You understand it? The Japanese come from Ammon. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we come from Jacob. That's we come right. from Israel, That's out right. the Bible. Believe it or not. But we forgot that because of slavery. And going back to our custom, we never celebrated birthdays. And this is why. Read. Job chapter 1 and verse 4. And his sons went and feasted in their house. Sorry, verse 1. Job chapter 1 and verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz. Right now we in the land of Georgia. But this man, Job, lived in the land of Uz. Read. Whose name was Job. What's your name? Ezel. 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 Okay, Ezel. All right, Ezel. Come on. And that man was perfect. Ezel, do you want to be perfect with God? What's your name? Antoine. Antoine and Ezel, do y'all want to be perfect with God? Yes or no? I think the, the logical answer is yes, I want to be perfect with God. In order to be perfect with him, read on. That man was perfect and upright and one that feared God. Feared God. Read. And eschewed evil. Eschewed evil means Job would rebuke you if you come around with the, with the nonsense. He'll check you real quick. That's what that's going to. Now, go down to his wicked children. Let's get to the point. Job was righteous, but his children was the damn devil. Because they celebrated their birthday. I'm going to show you that. Come on. Verse 4. And his sons went and feasted in their houses. Everyone his day. Everyone his day. His day is your birthday. The day you was born is your day. The day you was born is your day. Right. So they feasted in their houses and celebrated everyone his day. Bring it out. Meaning at all his sons, when it's one son's birthday, they're going to celebrate your birthday. Next son, they're going to celebrate your birthday. Next one, let's celebrate your birthday. Teach. Read. And call for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. Uh -huh. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were going about, that Job sent and, sac and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, offering burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons yeah, have sinned. What? Have sinned. Yeah, what? Have sinned. Celebrating your own day is a sin. That's, Celebrating that's your right. birthday is a sin right. with God. That's self-worship. You worshiping yourself on that day. God don't got nothing to do with that day. You understand? So, Ezel, is it your birthday? No, it's my nephew. Well, Ezel, you got to teach your nephew. Nephew, we don't celebrate birthdays, but nephew, I'm glad you are here another year. But I want you to know, I cannot celebrate your birthday, nephew. That don't mean you don't love your nephew no less. That just means that you love God more. That's right. right. You understand? And here's the judgment for that, and I'm going to let the next teacher come up. Get to where uh, they, they died. I'm going to show you, Ezel, this is how serious it is. And if you notice, I don't know down here, but in Chicago, whenever somebody celebrates their birthday, it always gets shot up. There's always some bad judgment that come through on the birthdays right and now. the holidays. Right Every other day be normal, but as you right, on, on, the, on the weekends, it'd be like uh, something, some, uh, 30, 30, 30 people shot at, at a birthday party. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That's, That's the right. Lord's judgment. Out. The Lord ain't playing on these holidays. That's right. The Lord be breaking forth on these holidays. I'm telling you, read Job chapter 1 and verse 18. And while he was yet speaking, there came also another I'm gonna leave you with this. and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their elder brother's house. Now, what happened? And behold, there came a great wind uh -huh. from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. That? The Lord killed these young men for celebrating their birthday. Yes, yes. Back then, a, a large wind is a windstorm. Today, it could be a bullet. It could be uh, uh, y'all fighting on the birthday, and the cops come, and that'll, the cops put your nephew to death. The Lord always stirs up some evil on somebody's birthday. Mark my words. If you don't listen to this, and you go to celebrate your nephew's birthday, I'm going to guarantee you some evil's going to happen. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.